Hey everybody, this is my 125 gallon native tank and I just this moment turned the lights on and I mean just this moment the fish are still adjusting to the fact that the lights are now on. So I got some bad news this morning. Uh, last night I salted the tank and I think that's having a positive impact as I watched the tank throughout the rest of the evening the fish seemed to settle down a little bit. I wasn't getting as much flashing. But I was still getting plenty of flashing, and clearly the fish in here still need treatment. It is on the way, and this afternoon it should be here. So when I get home from work, I'll be able to begin treating this tank. Uh, unfortunately, when I came down this morning, the first thing I found was one of my big shiners dead on the floor, all dried up, and another one of the minnows. So I lost another minnow overnight, and I lost one of my three remaining shiners uh, I was afraid it was the biggest one that was starting to get that sort of orange coloration in the fins, but that one is right there. So we lost apparently the middle-sized one. Uh, there's the smallest one without really any coloration in its fins. And I just flushed the big one this morning, or the medium-sized one this morning, which is probably a mistake. My toilet's not flushing uh, quite right now that I tried to flush that big fish down there, so I might have to be dealing with some of that issue uh, later. I'm hoping that will work itself out too as maybe the fish softens up uh, over time, but I don't think it went all the way down the pipe. Um, again, that's uh, an issue for later to deal with. So what I'm going to do today, and this may sound silly to some people, but let me finish before you pass judgment. Uh, I'm going to be down in an area where I go once a month for work and in that area is the bait and tackle shop that I originally purchased the shiners from a few years ago they're sold as bait and the jumbos are sold for 75 cents a piece and they are probably about half the size of that one maybe two-thirds the size of that one there and for as long as I've had these in the tank and as much as they've grown if you consider that is, you know, two or three years growth on these, I don't know exactly how long it's been, but it's been a while. They've been in there almost since I got this tank set up, and I think that was three years ago this uh, holiday season, so we're, we're pretty much coming up on the third anniversary of this tank. So, while I'm down there today, I think I'm going to stop and pick up some more minnows, they, again, are cheap. I'll probably get like half a dozen of them. That'll give me a school of eight at this point instead of nine that I was hoping for. And if you're thinking, well, you know, I've got an infection in the tank. Why are you going to add new fish while the tank is already infected and so on and so forth? Uh, I'm going to be treating the tank by this afternoon anyway, so that doesn't really matter to me. They're going to be in a tank that's being treated, so they shouldn't have too much to worry about. I know that they won't be bringing anything home because they're coming from a certified disease-free um, bait and tackle shop, so I won't be chancing bringing anything home. But as far as putting those fish at risk when I bring them home... Well, you know, think about what their fate would be if I didn't bring them home. At least by bringing them home and putting them in this tank, they've got a chance to have some kind of a life ahead of them. Uh, if I don't bring any of those fish home today, uh, they are guaranteed to be used as bait by somebody. So, even though it might seem odd to bring fish home into a tank that I know is infected, uh, it's either do it today and not worry about it, which is probably what I'm going to do, or I can wait until next month. And once the tank's all straightened out and sorted out, I can get them put in there. Um, but I don't honestly want to wait until almost December uh, before I add more fish in there. We're down to two. And I really think I was wanting to do this before that infection broke out. And I've been kind of tossing the idea of whether I should do it or not uh, around. The reason I was thinking about it was because of the behavior of the two minnows. They're, they're a schooling fish. And with only two or three of them in there, they're not really out and about as much as I'd like them to be and I think it's because their numbers are so small they're not schooling properly even with all these minnows in the tank you can see they're sort of separate from the minnows these two are clearly together and then these minnows are together 
So I think adding some more of these shiners will bolster their confidence and get a little more activity. And I really think they're pretty fish. They're just sort of silvery and shiny, but as they grow, the little subtle colors in their fins start to develop. And as the tannins in the tank build up, they go from a silvery color to a golden color. And they're just generally pretty fish. Uh, it's difficult to find too many native fish that have lots of color in them anyway, or at least native fish from this part of the world. Uh, I'm sure if you go to South America, the native fish are uh, beautiful. But around here, you don't get a lot of color in the native fish. Uh, maybe some darters and stuff like that, you might be able to find little splashes of color. But for the most part, you know, maybe a yellow perch would be about the... Uh, or, or sunfish would be about the most colorful thing I could put in there from around here. So, you know, yeah, the, the shiners might be a little boring at first glance when you look at them, but that's okay with me. I don't, you know, I don't mind the subtlety of sort of muted colors. Even a lot of my tropical tanks have fish in them that are, you know, earth tones and browns and tans and stuff. So the, the silver shiners aren't going to bother me at all. So I think that's going to be my goal today. I think I'm going to stop at uh, Clyde's Bait and Tackle down in Lansdowne and pick up half a dozen jumbo shiners today and by the time i get home my treatment should be here and so we can go from the treatment right to adding new fish and who knows maybe if the fish are small enough i can put them in quarantine for a little while and avoid having to worry about that altogether but as i said i'm treating the tank anyway so why not just put them in here while it's being treated that way they'll be treated too and it won't risk them having any diseases so anyway, let me get on with it. I got to get my day started and go get some work done. And then I will see you back here at the tank later this evening, I'm sure. And we'll see what's going on with it then. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget this, of course, is my 125-gallon native tank. So thanks again. I'll see you real soon in the next one.